everybody, welcome to the homestead. Hey, listen, it is our first time firing up the rocket stove, the rocket mass heater, and I wanted to go ahead and show you what's going on. Uh, this thing is blazing. That barrel is very, very hot, and the barrel is smoking a little bit. I think that's probably some of the paint coming off of the barrel. Um, the, paint, the paint, I guess, is kind of uh, burning. Uh, it's got kind of a smell. You can kind of smell it, so I think there's a little bit of smoke coming off the barrel. Maybe that's normal for the first time firing it up. Anyway, this thing is blazing. Let me show you. You can definitely hear the rocket sound. It is blazing in there, and it's, you can see the flames are being sucked up into the tube. Um, so it's going fairly well, I think. Um, there's not a whole lot of smoke coming out of here. Just a little bit, maybe a little bit. But uh, for the most part, it's all going, getting sucked down through that tube. And uh, going out, I mean, this thing, I can't even touch it anymore. It's, it's hot. Um, and as soon as I fired this up, it, it became hot fast. Um, what I've got here is the pipe going out, and I've got it covered with a little bit of clay dirt, which I'm going to make into some cob later. Um, I got some cob outside that I'm going to kind of put over that and form it. Um, but it's going, the pipe is going down through the rocks. The rocks are covering the pipe. And if you can see, it's going down this way, over and up. And let me show you outside. Okay, so here's my stack. And I was putting my hand over this earlier. There is not a lot of heat at all coming out of this. It's very, very cool. Well, it's not going to say it's totally cool, but I mean, it's definitely not hot. I mean, I can put my hand here for sure, and uh, it does not hurt my hand at all whatsoever, having it over the opening. I can feel a little bit, just a tiny tad of warm air coming out of there. And so I think most of the of the heat, I mean, this is mostly just steam coming out of here. Um, doesn't even smell like smoke. And not at all. So, um, so I assume most of the heat is being transferred to the mass that's inside. And uh, what you have left is just steam coming out here when it's about, I think it's about 31 degrees outside right now. So, the whole point of this is, and so here's some of the clay. This is... Um, some of the clay dirt that I'm going to be turning into cob later. Now uh, we got this from a neighbor. Some of this is kind of like blue clay, which is some very fine clay. I mean, it's just a mi mishmash of different clay. I'm going to be turning that into cob. That's going to be going over the rest of this in here in this pipe that's covered by rock right now. And I'm going to be covering that with the clay. And so it's, you know, pretty warm in here. My, my goal is is for these fish tanks you can see the water running I don't want these fish tanks the piping in here to freeze and so I've got a lot of plants in here growing I got a lot of fish in here growing I got to make sure these pipes don't freeze over the winter and so that's the whole purpose of having this inside the greenhouse is to keep this thing going uh, throughout the winter time and keep things growing and keep the, the the water from freezing the pipes there's these out outside lines right there if you see this outside line these outside lines are, are the biggest fear. There's one over there and there's one over here, right there. Those outside lines are constantly transferring water uh, through the manifolds that you see up there. And those manifolds uh, can freeze, especially the ones on the outside. They're the most susceptible to the cold. And so that's the main reason of putting this rocket mass heater inside the greenhouse. Uh, Steve's been working, this is the first time firing it up. We're gonna give you an update uh, down the road, it's still going, and so what I'm going to do is there's not very little, there's only a very little bit of smoke coming up through here, and the rest is being sucked down through the pipe. So I'm going to keep tending to this, keeping an eye on it, and um, seeing how it does. There's some freezing temperatures that are coming in the next few days, and so what I'm going to do is see how well this works out, uh, keeping our fingers crossed and, and hoping for the best. But uh, I'll keep you updated on the videos so you know how it's going, and if you want to try something like this at, at yourself at your place, let me tell you, it's intimidating at first, but it's really easy. It's very simple, very simple technology. You can do this. All right, see you next time on The Homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.